Good day everyone, senior high school student, statistics and probability, week 2 mean of the discrete random variable. So for lesson number 1, mean of the discrete random variable, at the end of the session, the learner should be able to illustrate the mean of the discrete random variable, calculate the mean of the discrete random variable, interpret the mean of the discrete random variable, and solve for the expected values. So to begin, let me define you the word mean. So when you say mean, the mean of the sample or population was computed by adding the values and dividing by the total number of values. So when you hear the word mean, mean is more on getting the average of the different outcomes or result. So next one, we have the formula. So for the formula of getting the mean of a population, you must consider this formula. So when you talk about population, it includes the entire group for the collection of all elements. So this is the symbol for the population mean. And we have the term population or the capital letter N for population. And um, you will get the summation of X. Then for getting the mean of the sample, so almost the same lang din naman siya with the population. Ang naiba lang is more on the representation. And when you talk about um, sample, sample is just a part of the population. So this is the symbol for the sample mean. And you have the summation of X and uh, for the sample size, yung representation natin is more on smaller form of N since it is only part of the population. So next one, we have the steps in getting the mean of the discrete random variable. So let's say you have an experiment of rolling a die. So number one step, identify all the possible outcomes. So in uh, performing step number one, so you have to construct a table. So for the first table, you have to consider the number of the spots or yung random variable x natin. So for this given part, since we are rolling a die, we have to consider the faces of the die. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and then you have six. Number two, determine the probability of each possible outcome. So for this part, for the second column, um, you have to fill in itong part ng probability of P of X. When you say P of X, um, you have to consider yung uh, probability of every um, spot of this given die. So let's say for this part, in getting one, we have one over six. Kasi one lang, isa lang naman yung one dito sa given die natin and you have six possible outcomes. The same with two, the same with three, even four, five, and then six. You only have one out of the six chances na you will have this given um, items or numbers. Then for step number three, multiply each outcome value with the respective probability. So in short, you have to multiply the value of x by the value of p of x. So for this part, multiply 1 by 1 over 6. So you will have 1 over 6. 2 times 1 over 6 is 2 over 6. 3 times 1 over 6 is 3 over 6. 4 times 1 over 6 is 4 over 6. 5 times 1 over 6 is 5 over 6. And then 6 times 1 over 6 is 5 over 6. Then for step 4, find the sum of the product. So for this part, you have to consider this formula. So for our formula, you need to get the summation of um, x times the value of the p of x. So in short, you have to get the sum of this third column. So add lang po natin siya. So by substituting the value for the third column, so you will have 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6 plus 4 over 6 plus 5 over 6 plus 6 over 6. Since um, yung given item natin is already in similar form of fraction, you have to copy the denominator and just simply add the numerator. So you will have 21 over 6. So we can convert 21 over 6 in lowest term. So we will have 7 over 2. And then in decimal form, you will have 3.5. So step 5, you have to interpret the result. So for the step 5, the value obtained is called the mean of the random variable x or the mean of the probability distribution of x. So our answer for this given uh, problem is the mean tells us the average number of spots that would appear when unbiased die is rolled is 3.5. Since we don't have 3.5, pero we are sure na if we will try to continue, if perform yung given experiment natin, there's a tendency that 
we will arrive with the average of 3.5. So meaning to say, um, ang malaking chance dyan is either 3 or 4 yung most of the results or outcomes na lalabas by performing that given experiment. So note, the mean of the random variable x is referred to as the expected value denoted by the mean is equal to the expected values of x, di ba? As I said dun sa panina, di ba? We are expecting na it's either 3 or 4 yung lalabas because of our answer for uh, this given problem as 3.5. So next one, example number 2, complete the table below and find the mean of the following probability distribution. So this time around, we have the given table. So meaning, yung step 1 and step 2, hindi na natin siya as in gagawin. So we will proceed to step number 3. So for step number 3, you have to multiply the value of x by the value of the probability of x. So 0 times 3 over 10 is 0. 1 times 3 over 10 is 3 over 10. 3 times 2 over 10 is 6 over 10. And then 5 times 1 over 10 is 5 over 10. And then you have 7 times 1 over 10 is 7 over 10. So that's step 3. Then for step 4, consider this formula. Get the, get the summation of x times the probability of x. So in short, get the summation of this um, third column. So you will have 0 plus 3 over 10 plus 6 over 10 plus 5 over 10 plus 7 over 10. Since similar fraction siya ulit, you have to add the numerator and, just, and then simply copy the denominator. So you will have 21 over 10 or 2.1. And then for our answer, therefore the mean of this given distribution is equal to 2.1. So next one, example number 3. For example, number 3, the 2014 Philippine Census of Size of the Households. So the table below shows the sizes of household in a certain community and then corresponding probabilities. So compute for the expected value. So in short, you have to get the mean of the size of the household of uh, Filipinos. So for this part, uh, for the first row, I have the size of the household or the random variable x as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. And then you have the probability in the form of decimal. In the form of percent, I mean. So you have to convert this given um, into decimal first and uh, we will continue dun sa step number 3 natin. So ito lang yung nadagdag na step sa atin. So in getting or converting this um, given probability in the form of percent, uh, we will uh, move this given decimal point two places to the left. So like for example, for 24.5%, for so that's equivalent to 0 0.245 since we move the decimal uh, point two places to um, the left. So the same thing with 32.8%. So move this given decimal point uh, point two places to the left, then you will arrive with 0 0.3 to um, 8. Or other solution, um, you may divide. Um, you may divide the given probability by uh, by 100. So, like for example, uh, for 24.5, divide this given by 100, and then you will arrive with 0 0.24 and 5. So the same with um, 3 up to 7, ito yung magiging result natin. So, we have 0 0.102, 0 0.075, 0 0.0875, 0 0.0725, and then for the last one, you have 0 0.09. So, for the third step, you have to multiply itong um, red part natin by itong um, the size of the household or the random variable x. So, you will have 0 0.245, 0 0.656, then 0 0.306, 0 0.3, 0 0.4375, 0 0.435, and then for the last one, you have 0 0.63. Um, Again, you have to multiply this given the size of the household or the, the random variable x by the probability of x. So next one. So for the step 4, you have to consider this formula and then add the probability um, of x times the value of x. So you will have 0 0.245 um, plus 0 0.656 plus 0 0.306 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4375 
flash 0.435, flash 0.63, and then you will arrive with 3.009 and then 5. And then last one for the interpretation, the computed expected value is um, 3.0095. And we only consider an approximate value of 3 since we refer to the number of people. Since, di ba, wala naman tayong 0.0095 individual. So, we must convert um, this given into the nearest whole number. So, hence, in the Philippines, we expect an average size of 3 for each household. So, next one, example number 4. So, the math club organized a fundraising activity for support of the students who cannot avail cell phone for online class. They sell uh, 100 raffle tickets worth 50 pesos each. The sole lucky winner of this raffle will, will receive a cash of 3,000 pesos. What is the expected net gain if you buy one raffle ticket? So, for this part, you have to construct a table. So, table natin. So, for this part, you have X, the probability of X. And then, the product between X and the probability of X. So, for this part, since mag-join tayo sa given raffle, di ba? Dalawa lang naman yung possible situation natin. It's either we win or we lose. Di ba? It's either we win or we lose. So, for this part, um, ang cost ng um, every ticket natin is 50 pesos. And then, yung um, jackpot price natin or yung price na receive natin after winning this given raffle is 3,000 pesos. For winning, so you have to consider yung um, cash price natin and also yung um, amount of money para makapag-join tayo dito sa given raffle. So in short, you have to subtract um, 3,000 by 50, di ba? Para manala tayo sa given raffle, syempre kailangan tumaya muna kayo. So you have to invest 50 pesos. So for the value of X, you have 2,950 since you have to subtract 3,000 by 50. So yung second situation natin is you will lose or you might lose dito sa given situation na to. Diba? You will not receive 3,000 and at the same time, you have to pay 50 pesos. Ito yung given situation natin. So for this part, what is the probability of winning and also the probability of losing? So for the probability of winning, since in this condition, nakalagay dyan, uh, sole lucky winner since sole lucky winner so meaning to say isa lang yung mananalo and you have 100 raffle tickets so meaning to say the probability of winning this given raffle is 1 over 100 since 1 lang naman yung lucky winner natin and you have 100 raffle tickets and then syempre in getting the probability of losing in this game syempre you have to subtract 1 by 1 over 100 and then you will arrive with 99 over 100. So in decimal form or in percent form, meaning to say, ang um, probability of winning in this raffle is only 1% and for losing naman, 99% yung magiging given situation natin. So for step 3, you have to multiply the value of x by the, the probability of x. So dito sa part natin, you will have uh, 2,950 divided by 100 and then itong kabila naman you will have negative 400 4,950 divided by 100 consider this formula the summation of x times the probability of x so ito yung result natin for this part diba? you have 2,950 over 100 minus the result of this part you have 4,950 4, over 100 and then you will arrive with negative 2,000 over 100 since a similar fraction sila. And then convert this part into a uh, whole number and then you will arrive with negative 20. So yung negative 20 ito yung expected value natin for this given situation. So interpretation, it means that the average gain is equal to negative 20. Since negative yung answer natin, so we can reinterpret this part as the student is expected to lose um, 20 pesos for joining this kind of raffle. So thank you, um, senior high school student, for um, watching this video. And then wait for um, the guide of this week number two para masagutan nyo yung given uh, module natin.